Let's go back to 1987 and review the movie Predator. Hello everyone, it's Ledger Forever, and I'm back for another review. And in this one, I'm doing Predator. Now, I did review this once, but it was not very popular at all. It's one of my least popular videos. And also because my review was short, it was not in depth at all. I did not bother to do I just went upstairs after seeing the movie. I was like, blah, blah, blah. I, I just talked about it for a tiny bit then. I was like, eh, okay, I guess it can be a video. So, no, it needs to be a full-length video. So, we're going to start talking about some good. Some good, Arnold Schwarzenegger's in this movie. He is always an asset when he's in a movie. He always brings a certain level of charisma and fun to it. He has done it in countless movies. He's done The Expendables. He kind of did it in Batman and Robin. He's one of the better parts of the movie. He did it in, like, he's always done in the Terminator movies. He did it in Predator. I just wish that he could have returned for, like, some cameos or even, like, a full appearance in, uh, uh, in a new movie. I just wish that they could, like, do a, this time they could, like, do a legacy sequel with him in it. That would be amazing. So, if anyone ever watches this that knows anyone that would be willing to, please get an Arnold Schwarzenegger new Predator film. I want to see him. It cannot be as bad as some of the other films, because Arnold is already a way that you could ha have it help. So another thing that's good about it is, I just love this entire movie. It's the, the pacing, I'm get, not going to lie, this might have the best pacing of any movie I've ever seen. The It feels like you're directly talking about something, then you start going there, you get there, then these people are getting hunted, and it just is so, so smart in the way it does it, it... It just feels very, very unique ahead of its time. And the Predator design was amazing considering this, they didn't have CGI. They couldn't use CGI. It was all practical. This was a real costume. I think they, like, they may have touched up, touched it up a bit on, like, some of the stuff just to make it look a bit more, like, frightening. But it was mostly just a suit that they wore, which was amazing. And I just love this. Also, you have to admit that there are some amazing one-liners in here. Stick around. Knock, knock. Also, let's not forget uh, uh, Arnold's most legendary line ever. Get to the chopper! Well, not probably not his most legendary. He does still have Hasta la Vista, baby. Hasta la Vista, baby. And it's just a real fun time. And also, something that I, and something that I really enjoy is that, uh, well, the line, if it bleeds, we can kill it. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Is uh, one, of the, one of the many lines that Arnold says that has still been parodied. Uh, and also that they even used in the movie Prey. If it bleeds, we can kill it. And might actually have been better because he's, the person says it with much more confidence. And like it can actually work and just really does some really good stuff with it. And also let's not forget the amazing thing that Arnold also says. Get to the chopper! Get to the chopper! Which is still one of, another one of my favorite lines from him ever. And I just really love it. And also... Yet again, let's not forget Arnold's legendary line. Be ready for censoring. You're one ugly mother and this was, that was hilarious. I love seeing that. I already knew he said that because I'd seen a clip of him saying it. And I just always have loved this movie. And there's a lot of good stuff about this. And I could full on rant this movie for over two days. Most likely. I This is a, easily a top five movie. I absolutely love it. It just... For bad, I cannot say anything bad about it. You could put me at gunpoint and say, name, something bad about Predator, so name me something bad about the movie Predator and I'll let you live. Can't, I wouldn't be able to do it. I would die by getting a bullet to my face. I would die. I, because there is nothing bad about this movie. It's flawless. And it's a... 10 out of 10 movie. It's higher than 10 out of 10. It's like an 85 out of 10. 
It's one of the greatest films ever, and I absolutely love it. So thank you all for watching this review. I will be reviewing all the movies in this franchise other than the second because I have not seen it because I'm not allowed to see it. So stay tuned for my Predators review, The Predator review, and Prey review, along with the AVP movies, which I will also review. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a good one.